What's going on everybody? Dan with Right Now Powder Coating. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to put together your E-Coat <laughs> Master M Multicolor Box Unit. The instructions for this gun are very similar to the Pro V2. It's just a different um, control unit. So let's uh, go ahead and get right into it, show you guys how to put it together. All right, so when you open up your box, it is going to appear like this. You're gonna see your manual right away. Read it, every page. It's good, good bathroom material, if you will. Um, you've got your hose pack here, so you've got your airlines, um, your actual powder hose, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna set everything out so it's nice and uh, ready to go. You've got your air regulator with two setups there for um, airlines, and you'll see what that does. And your bracket, don't wanna forget your bracket. Um, you've got your pump here, I believe. Yep, your injector pump. Um, this is the 110 volt kit. And these are all going to be taped. Buy a gun for me and you see it's untaped, it's because I opened it, <laughs> not because you got a used part or anything, but sometimes we have to open the boxes to double check that things are right, especially here in America where we have to have a certain plug um, for the 110 volt. You're just dying to be in a video, aren't you? And then you got your manual gun here with the cord and everything. It comes with the um, extra tips and stuff if you like to have like the cone ends, which I don't, we don't ever use those. Um, but some people like them. I just use a flat tip. It works for about everything. You've got your pickup tube. You've got a hose that is not very long. Uh, this is the main upright. And you can see the module in there. It's not easy to do one-handed. In fact, I had to use two hands. So that is it. now because I keep having employees come in while I film, I'm going to block the door with boxes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got your base. You've got your midsection. There's a top piece there that holds uh, control unit, control unit, arm, gun, pickup tube, hoses, all that fun stuff. So you're going to need to get an Allen head. And that's what goes on here. Now there is a electrical wire in here for your base that you're gonna wanna bring up out of the hole. This is gonna attach to the back of your control unit. If you forget to pull it out and you put that piece on, you can just remove the back plate. But that is what powers your, when you pull the trigger, if it's set up in the right mode, that's what, oh. That's no fun. Um, that's what will power your vibrator base, which you've got to have to get your powder to shake down. So I'm gonna put this on the tripod and we're gonna start putting this together. Okay, I wanted to show you the midsection. So when you pull this thing apart, um, it's Phillip head screws, but you can take this back plate off. Um, you've got your regulator here with the output screen there so this is just your indicator so your air goes in there show you how much pressure you've got but then this hose comes down into this module uh, which is controlled by this module which is controlled up into your control unit with this just kind of dangling off the back i started all those screws in there hand tight um, and we'll tighten them down but i wanted to show you that that electrical wire that's going down to your vibratory base it's a four prong, it actually goes right into this. This module, what it does is when you pull the trigger, it tells the gun two things. It tells it to start vibrating that base, but it also sends a signal here to let the air go through to your fluidizer so that your uh, pickup tube will start fluidizing. So these have a little pin in them right there that you have to line up with the pin up here. So. It's on the right side. 
So then it'll just go in, you can push it down and then just screw this tight. So then once you have that up and put in, you've got all of your wire or your tubing that needs to come out. So you've got the long skinny tube and the short fat tube sticking out here. So long skinny, short fat, you can go ahead and screw this plate back on. Also, don't forget to tighten these down before you put this plate back on. I almost did. When you go to put this on, you've got all these tubes. Make sure that you just tuck them in nicely, and that way they don't get kinked or anything because you don't want a, a kink in the hose or your airlines aren't going to work. So just tuck them in nicely when you put the cover on. Make sure you don't pinch anything. All right, so you're going to open up your headpiece box, and then you're going to have the handles and the gun holder pieces this one's taped in. I don't think my first one was. So hard to do one-handed. So get all this stuff out because you're going to want to attach it to the unit before you attach the unit to the base. So we've got the gun holders on each side attached. You got a screw and a locking washer. Handle, you just put on one side, put the tube in, put on the other side. Pretty simple. Okay, so then you put in your four bolts. Everything should be locked down, ready to go. You've got your power cord from the middle that's gonna go into your gun coming out. So that will go in the back of the control unit. So another box done. You can open up your control unit box. Just slide it right in the opening, perhaps like that. And if you didn't go crazy, you will see that you had a couple bolts that will go right in here to hold your control unit on. Okay, so that's it. Now you get to play with the air setup. You're gonna want your regulator. Oof. And again, a screwdriver because you're gonna mount this right here. Um, I would take out one at a time. Then there's a ring on top. You're gonna take that off, on. Okay, so now you've got this super short hose that can't go anywhere else but right there. This cord that came up from the base that you're actually gonna put into the aux port just line it up, push it all the way in, and screw it in. Then you've got your gun, that's obviously where your gun will attach. And then you've got the um, power, man, I've gotta get better with this camera. You've got your power source that will go to the power outlet. You've got your ground that will go to your ground, not your part. And again, sorry, this piece actually goes up around to the fluidizer on your pickup tube. So then you've got your red hose, you've got your blue hose, and then you've got this hose that was just laying here. This is what's gonna take your main air source after it's been regulated into your control unit, and then it controls all of your, your red, your blue, and your nozzle air. So there's another tube that's black in your hose bag that you're gonna attach there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pump on here so you've got to get your arm here small end's going to go over that pretty pretty simple um, this is your pickup tube that's to hold your tube so then your pickup tube you're going to slide in there and there's your little tube for this guy so this guy's going to come over and go right in there so that is set up you're going to get your injector or your pump out and then whenever you're putting this in or out because there's o-rings there be gentle and just twist it just a little bit down and a little bit out when you take them out so now you can see how all of your airlines are going to go so your blue is going to come around and go to the blue same with the red come around and go to the red and as you can see you have way more hose than you need so what i like to do is get the gun out And you've got the gun with its power cord, which you're gonna attach again back here by lining it up. 
and then screwing it in. So what I do typically before I screw this in, because I wanna tie everything together and make it look nice, is you'll cut this off, you'll push your hose onto here, and you'll draw out everything together and then duct tape it together. So you wanna make sure that your line here that I put in, this is for your nozzle air, it's gonna come around and go in your gun. Got it there. When you cut this loose, cut this loose in your powder hose, bring them all out. We use electrical tape and we tape them all together. Now, obviously you're gonna have this go to the back of the unit, this go to the back of the unit. So we like to tie them together into your hoses and come around on the same side. And then your hose for your pickup is going to go directly to here and that you'll tie together so with all this stuff as it gets to here so you'll see what that looks like here in a second okay we're going to set up the red hose and the blue hose real quick so you've got these little fittings in one of your bag and they actually just come apart so you're going to take it apart and then you'll have two pieces so this first piece you got to figure out how long you want your hose so we're going to leave a little bit of extra slack in it and we're going to cut it about here and then we'll slide that piece over all right so we've got the side with the wire on it already and then you just push fit this into the hose you bring it up and you thread it on it's better to do this with two hands and a wrench you just want it really snug it doesn't have to be super tight in fact i just did that by hand and then it will just snap right on to the red and then we'll do the same thing with the blue all right so you've got your red and your blue you can tie it together nicely to your orange. This gives you a little bit of room that when you pull out the pickup tube, you can kind of move it around and hang it back without it getting caught up. But getting those cut down to the right size will make your life a lot easier. As you can see, there is a ton of hose left, so don't worry about that. Um, save it as a spare in case something happens, you get a kink in one of these in a hole or something. You'll be able to run a whole nother line with what you have, so just keep them. All right, so we've got the hose on. You're going to just push it really hard in there. The black hose is in that little port there, and then you've got your power line. So I like to just grab them all, pull them tight. You want to leave a little bit of room here at the top so you can move your hose in and out for cleaning, and then just kind of wrap them every 8 to 10, 12 inches, and just keep going back out. I ran out of my duct or my electrical tape right here, so we've kind of got a mess. But you do want to leave a little bit at the end slack because you've got, again, two lines that are going to go. You're going to bring everything back to here. You're going to plug your um, hose into here, and then you can actually run your power line and your air line back with all that. All right, so we've got everything hooked up in the back. You've got your gun and your gun, your aux for the vibrator motor. You've got the black hose to the gun, blue to the pump, red to the pump, main air in, uh, main air into your... Uh, other regulator for your fluidizer, which is what pushes the air out the bottom to fluidize your powder. We've got all of our lines taped together here to kind of make it nice into there. You get a little more hose than you do power cord. So we try and keep the length of the power cord and the black air hose the same. So this, you could technically just trim this and then get it a little bit neater, but we're not gonna mess with that now. Everything else on the gun is all put together nicely. My office on the other half, is a mess so that is it the gun is set up it's ready to be put into use the one thing i will tell you i lied to you because the power cord isn't set up <laughs> so power cord pretty simple it only goes on one way you're going to line it up the cord goes to the bottom you're going to grab your uh, phillips and you're just gonna screw it right in. Nice and snug. Your ground cord here is pretty simple too. You're just gonna spin this off. And then you're gonna hook up the eyelet, put your nut back on. Now what we do is we take that clamp and we go right over to our ground that goes into the ground, so our actual ground rod, and we snap it on. And that grounds your unit out to make it safe. We got the power cord in, just plug that in. Now it's set up except for one other thing. This is a air hose fitting that rarely ever works. Take it out, it's a quarter inch like most people shop air. 
put in the quarter inch um, fitting to whatever your hose air or airline is. We use just a regular, um, you know, quick connect air hose, snap it in. You can set this up however you want it. When you do your air, just make sure it's in between the two greens. Um, this is bars, so it's not pressure, and this isn't that tight. Um, so you're gonna go right in between those two bars. So you're gonna plug it in, and that is the setup on the gun. So we've got maybe 30 of these units. Well, there's more than 30. There's probably 35 of these units out there now. Um, this one we are putting back into use because we sold ours, like I said. So if you want a used hopper, I'll get you a great deal. Just email me. Don't email me if you don't really want it. It's only good if you're spraying one color over and over and over again. Um, but don't just email if you're not going to actually buy it. Um, I, I will make a good deal on it, but also I don't want to answer a million emails. So um, if you're not serious. So if you're serious, let me know. But this will go back into use. We've got some bear kits that we're trying to figure out. I actually sold one, and so I got to figure it out quick. So I thought they would come with air regulators, uh, but they did not. So it's set up to run a pump system so you can put it in any hopper, but I don't know where you get your fluidizing air for the hopper. So I got to talk with my guys at Electron because I thought it came with a regulator set up, but it doesn't. So now I got to figure out if I've got to buy those or if they'll start supplying them or how we're going to do that. But anyways, long video short now. You guys know how to put your gun together. You know where all the airlines go. If you have a purge module, you're going to have one extra hose in the back of that that comes out and goes into the purge module. I don't push those too hard because I don't think you need it. Um, to be honest with you, you can actually purge these pretty easily. I just take them apart and clean them. I don't think you need the purge valve. But any questions, leave a comment, email me. A lot of you guys know my email address. If you want a quote on these, um, you can email me too, but we do have a website. It's www.powderfinishingequipment.com. I'll put it below. Check it out. We're adding a ton of stuff here in the next couple of weeks. We just got all the spare parts in. Um, we've got a bunch of guns in stock here in the US. Um, so you can get on there and buy all your spare parts, buy the guns if you want, or contact me directly. It really doesn't matter. It's my personal website. Um, it has nothing to do with Electron or any other companies that are trying to sell these. So um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.